Okay, everybody, so today isn't going to be anything big. Um, Carrie the other day mentioned our garden and said I should make a video to show you guys. So first, right here, we have three marigolds. Uh, they're growing up. And behind them, we have one of our regular cucumbers that is growing. Uh, I actually planted three here, but only one of them took. So it was kind of a, kind of depressing, but uh, aside from that, further down, we have three more marigolds that I planted. Marigolds are growing really, really well, uh, but they haven't started flowering yet. And we planted marigolds so that when they did flower, uh, we'd get a lot more bees so that it would pollinate and get a lot more fruit. What you see behind here are all our lemon cucumbers. Now, I probably should have uh, thinned them to where there was, because uh, right here you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bushes. Uh, I should have probably thinned it down to about three, but eh, we'll let it go and, and see how big they get and what happens. Last year, we ended up uh, having just two bushes and they covered quite a bit, so uh, we'll see what happens here. Further down... I planted three more marigolds um, around our blueberry bush. The blueberry bush is just starting out. But uh, all of these marigolds, if you notice, they're starting to get bigger and bigger as they come down. Um, I was not planning on marigolds getting this big because I am used to seeing marigolds just as small little flowers. Um, so this is kind of interesting to me. Uh, next to them, we have are corn and I planted two squares of corn one here one here I left space in the middle and in the back I planted a marigold and in the middle of each of these corn uh, bundles I planted a marigold the one over here has decided it wants to continue growing taller and taller from what I uh, Red when I planted the marigolds, they're supposed to be about two feet tall. This one in the middle of this one is about three. So uh, I guess it's maybe just getting that big because it's trying to grow up through the corn. But again, planted the, the um, marigolds so that when they bloom, it attracts the bees to pollinate for more ears of corn. Now this side of the yard <clears throat> that I'm showing you right now, Typically, we did not have garden on this side. Right down at the end there, we planted some pumpkins last year and some cucumbers. Um, but that just went up to the edge of where you see the cucumbers right now. And we had uh, two pumpkin vines. They grew out to the edge of where the little grass area is here. And I didn't plant any of this grass. It's spotty. Um, I didn't plant any of it. Um, it just decided to grow on its own. Um, which was kind of odd because uh, this the kind of grass that's growing here has never grown here before. It was never planted here, uh, even when we very first got the house. So it's it's uh, interesting. But uh, the, we got about four, maybe five pumpkins off of our vine last year, and we got a lot of lemon cucumber. But uh, moving on, all of this new stuff from uh, the edge of those cucumbers through the corn over here into this area all of this is new garden area this year we tilled over and planted and everything so in the back you see the little marigolds those are the ones that we are used to i bought those uh from the store and just planted them in um for a, a specific purpose that i'll tell you in a minute but those are the size i'm used to um these other marigolds that you see that are growing up i planted uh in the back there there is, on this side, we've got a orange or a yellow watermelon. On this side is a red watermelon. First time we've ever planted watermelons. And uh, planted them about a week, maybe two weeks ago. The lemon one, is, or the orange, yellow one rather, is uh, actually growing pretty well. The red one is taking a little bit of time. But we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure how well they'll grow up. These uh, little marigolds over on the side there, um, they're fresh seed that I planted not too long ago uh, from dead ones from the ones that are flowered. Then this 
that you see here is our pumpkins. Um, there's some marigolds here. Uh, this, I had planted one pumpkin here, uh, one in the middle, and one on the end. And this is primarily all one pumpkin bush from the one that was on the end. The other two started growing, um, but I think they kind of got eclipsed by this one. So I'm anxious to see uh, what kind of pumpkins we get. They're already uh, flowering. Some flowers have uh, already come and gone. So we'll see how many how many uh, pumpkins we get off of this vine. But this one is specifically planted as jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. So uh, hopefully they'll be a little bit bigger. Back where the watermelon are right now, I had planted uh, a couple seeds for like monstrous um, pumpkins. Kind of get like you know 200 300 pounds but they never grew so we went ahead and did the uh, watermelon instead so the reason for all of the marigolds um, especially in this area here with the pumpkins is that apparently squash bugs do not like the smell of marigolds so I planted a bunch of them in this area to get them growing up so that they flower draw the bees attract the bees and keep away the squash bugs so we'll see how that works. Uh, in addition to that, we're also, as we start getting pumpkins, we'll start putting um, bay leaves down, just dry bay leaves in this area. They apparently keep them away as well. So now I'm going to take you over to the, the other area where we have our garden. Uh, and this area that I'm taking you to now is typically where we actually do our gardening most of the time. So we've got our sunflower here. And we've got two um, tomato bushes. This one over here is a beefsteak tomato bush. This one over here is a red cherry tomato bush. Back behind it here is an edamame. Tanner loves edamames. Right here we have our strawberry bush. This is the second year it's grown. And it's uh, taken up quite a bit more room than it originally had. Originally it was just right in here. It's kind of spread out over the year. Um, we have another edamame back here, another edamame here, and another one right here. Um, right here is asparagus. Uh, we planted it last year. It takes about two to, well, I guess about three years um, from what we read to actually grow up enough to where it's actually delivering um, asparagus. So we'll see how that turns out. Right in here we have carrots. All through here we have radishes and there the radishes aren't getting big but you can see some of them peeking up uh, showing their reds on the top and then here we have uh, our onions and then on the very end kind of laying down a stalk you can see but they're kind of getting overgrown i need to shave this back again <laughs> back here we have all of our uh, garlic there's actually uh, three or four cloves there that I can dig down into. Um, further over, we have another tomato bush. This one here is um, uh, Juliet tomatoes, and there's some growing right here now. Then further over along this way, we have our um, these are lunchbox orange bell peppers. Further over, we have our little teeny jalapeno bush. Further over this way, we have another bell pepper bush. Doesn't have anything really growing on it right now. And then far, far over, little teeny black, or um, uh, yeah, blackberry bush. But it does not want to start taking and growing, so. We'll see how that turns out. Last thing, way over on this side, we have our clover bush, but we also have mint. Mint all around our tree. We've got some of our chives, our dragon's blood, two basil, and some more um, basil planted here and some more mint over on the far end and then 
up here at the house, we have some peppermint. We have some uh, citronella bushes to keep away some flies and mosquitoes. And then we have our chocolate mint. So there you have it, everybody. Kind of a tour of the outer edges of our backyard showing you all of our herbs all of our garden and how everything's turning out there's the grill we'll be using tonight for fourth of july as we do our cookout we've got an apple tree as well but uh it's just those little teeny green apples uh tanner likes to get them now and then but uh they're nothing nothing big just little teeny green apples uh, most of the time they just get worms in them so they just fall and, and we throw them away. But hopefully uh, you enjoyed our tour of our garden and uh, we'll see how it all turns out. And we do harvesting. See everybody tonight. Oh, here's a King, King Spider-Man and Tanner coming out to say hi. It's we're, me. we're gonna be do- oh, it's Do Joshua. I know something? Wait, we're, so what are we gonna be doing tonight, guys? Um, can I tell All right. you something? What's up? Real um, quick. Don't come inside. Just wait out here. Grace is a little shy. I'll go get her. Okay. Say bye. Bye. Take care, everybody. Bye. See you tonight. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs>